Hi everyone, thank you for clicking on our last Easter video. Though there's a possibility that there might be another one, but I'm not making any promises. I really appreciate you still watching the, the Easter videos after Easter. The baskets were so much fun to make. And I really hope that you will enjoy watching me putting them together and maybe you'll get some ideas for next year. This one is for a younger child, for a child that likes pink things and purple things. So I start off with this basket that I got from an op shop and I got this beautiful purple blanket I also got this from an op shop I do you know if you're on a budget I do recommend op shops for things even if you're not on a budget the money at op shops go and goes back into the community all right the first thing I'm, oh the blanket was the first thing now the blanket is there to lift the presents up because I have some small things I want to put in here and it kind of straight into the basket doesn't look so great and so I've got the blanket to lift them up so I've got this colouring book from $2 Things. Now things at $2 Things, they're not $2 each anymore. They're $2.50 each. Did you know that? I'm not sure when that changed. But I still think it's a better deal than most places. It does make me wonder where the stuff comes from though. But I'm still going to shop there. Alright, so i got this puzzle. This is probably for like, quite a young child really. So this is also from $2 Things. And I, and I got quite excited when I saw these Easter themed puzzles. I'm going to pop that in there. Alright, I got these Squishmallows. You might have seen this on my, my shop with me at the warehouse. So you, there's three Squishmallows there and the number four is a secret. A secret surprise. I'm going to pop the Squishmallow here. I found these from $2 Things as well. This is a, they're both growing pets. This one is a flamingo. This one is a crocodile. I thought they looked pretty cool. And I love that they're eggs. You know, it's really great for Easter to have eggs, right? That's the, that's the trend at Easter time. All right, what else do I have to put in here? Uh, this is this mug. So the mug is actually <laughs> going to be mine. Um, the mug itself. Th this mug is from Pop Stop. And I've got a hollow egg inside the mug. So that is going to sit quite nicely there. Push that blanket down just a little bit so you can see the pretty mug. Then I have three more uh, items that are not chocolate. <laughs> so I have um, a diamond kit, diamond art or diamond picture. This is from $2 Things. Now it occurs to me that this is probably for a slightly older child and this is for a much younger child. So I mean you can make it a, a family gift. To be honest I was just finding things that look pretty together. So there's that. Oh, that's right in the way of the squishmallow. So let's change that arrangement. Maybe, let's, let's think about that. I have another packet of three puzzles. This time I'm gonna fold it all the way down like that so we can see things behind them. Maybe that's when this comes in handy. I'm just going to put the bubble wrap in behind, underneath the flamingo and the squishmallows. If I can bulk that up today. All right. So, squishmallow there, the flamingo in here. Still not quite tall enough. Maybe diamond art. That's better. And the flamingo, flamingo can go down here. That looks nice. Look how nice that looks. And I also got a packet of playing cards. This is just off my shelf. I thought, oh, playing cards are nice. And you get playing cards from anywhere. It can be any playing cards. It's just the ones I see, I have that I thought would look nice. Now let's pretty it up with some eggs. So you don't really need to put very many eggs, I don't think, in the gift basket. You've got the big hollow egg there. It's just to make it look a little more inviting just to fill in some spaces mostly at the front and that is the first easter basket so here is the overview just want to remind you that none of this will be wasted some of them are actual gifts some of them are mine 
And a couple of them I'm going, well I guess it still makes them gifts, but I'm going to be giving them to friends that have children. Okay, our second basket is some for a child. It's maybe a little bit older than the previous basket and likes more darker colours. So start off with this dog. So I don't have a blanket in this one because the the soft toy is very very big. Um, this is just the same basket as last time from an op shop. This dog was from the warehouse. There's a space colouring book. This is from Two Dollar Things. I'm just going to pop it in like that. A bottle of fizzy drink. This is one that a, that a lot of people in my family like drinking so I thought it would be a good one to get for the video. And some Faber Castell pencils. Now as I said this is for an older child than, than the previous ones so these are quite good pencils. These are ones the, the next step up from uh, Crayola I guess. It's, it's the kind of pencils that I use. <laughs> I like with baskets when you can see what everything that's inside. It's a very big dog. Okay, so maybe just the colouring there and the pencils maybe this side of the handle that keeps the pencils up and maybe some bubble wrap. Some bubble wrap just in behind the dog to keep the, the colouring book higher so that we can see it. So here is the mug and the egg for this basket. It's a Stormtrooper mug. Now you can use any mug you like. This particular one is Danny's from, he got it with a video game. So I've got these growing pets. So I'm going to put one. I like these ones to be seen. And just in here. That one is the dinosaur and this one is a crocodile growing pet. So the growing pets once again they're from two dollar things. This basket is jam-packed because of this incredible dog. Now I was gonna do some decorating with a few of these eggs but there's really not a lot of space is there. I might put some, some in here, put in there. I've got some space at the back. Gotta have a decent amount of chocolate for Easter, right? Maybe for this basket, the person you're giving it to can go hunting for the eggs. So this is another Easter basket idea. So here is the basket. Now I did do some adjusting. When I stood up and looked at it from the front, it looked kind of bad. So I've got the colouring book up on some bubble wrap and Faber Castell fitted really, the pencils fitted really well just there. And there's the drink, dog, the big egg, and the mug, the growing pets. And I just added, because there was a spare space there now, I added some more little eggs. It doesn't really feel like cellophane, but it does look nice. It looks nice on camera than it does in real life. It's covered in Easter eggs. This is from Two Door Things. So. I'm not entirely sure how to do this because I've never really done it before but I thought that I would give it a shot. It's not covering everything is it? Now if I had a Christmas bow, it would look really nice right here. So yeah, there's a Christmas gift idea. And the way I'm going with my filming and editing, this would be a great idea for next year. Thank you so much for watching the Easter basket video. I did two different kinds of Easter baskets. Please comment below which one was your favourite. And I will see you back with more Easter ideas next year. Bye!